for his uh, uh, area of coverage is from uh, Washington State over to Maine, uh, you know, and I flipped my beam down and pointed it east, and I heard him an extra two minutes than what the uh, clock said he could hear for us. So it uh, kind of neat hit one today, very loud. I had him at uh, about a 9 plus 20 when he was overhead. Well, that's cool. Um, when's the next flyover that's going to be to where we can get to them? Well, the next one uh, that it would be close for us would be at 1551. And that's, uh, you know, that's almost uh, uh, 11 p.m. for them because they're on UGC. Uh, but uh, 1551, and he'll be making a path to the north at about 26 degrees up. Uh, and if he's awake, and he was uh, yesterday uh, at that time, that's when uh, I got him and Ken got him. Uh, but uh, he's talkative these days, that's for sure. And then the uh, next one that uh, is during this wake period is tomorrow. It looks like, uh, what do I got here? At about, uh, let's see, it looks like at about 107 or 1307. And uh, again at... Um, 
with the handheld, and uh, you know that's what I tell the guys. You can do it. it uh, you kind of look at your antenna on a handheld, and uh, if you put a donut on it, it gives you a good indication of uh, how the signal goes off. And uh, you know it, uh, that's what I tell guys how to pit or, or how to picture it. And sometimes you have to uh, lean that uh, handheld over to the side, you know, and things like that to get the uh, to get the uh, propagation going in the right way. And uh, anyway, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and back back off of here.